All right, welcome back. So I'm gonna do a quick video showing you how I use um, these T's, T fittings along with some lossless fittings. These just lossless fitting and a T combined. And this is kind of, it's not official because without, I put some O-rings in here because without the O-rings they leak, it would leak all the time. So I put some of the um, standard Schrader, Schrader cap O-rings I don't want to take it out because, well, yeah, just trust me, there's some Schrader cap O-rings between this here and this flare flare lock nut here. Um, so these are two separate parts. This is a T, and I use this T on the, um, I use it on both my suction and the liquid uh, probe, low side and high side. But I'll put the T on like such, and that way I'll connect it to the actual suction line, and I can just put my hose, my charging hose on this side here, and it's got the Schrader core in there already. Keep a Schrader core remover cap, cap on there as well, and um, that way you can just. You know, I've seen a lot of guys say you can't use these for charging. These are just for, essentially, I guess, just servicing and checking pressures. But, no, you can most definitely use these for charging. I've been using them for years now, um, before I got my s -Mans. And even after I had the s -Mans, I still pretty much use my smart probes. I had the first-generation Testos that I, would, that I would use with this setup. But now that I've got these, I bought these field PCUs. I've been using these on um, and like I say it works it works amazingly charging so yeah it's just that simple just connect your charging hose to this side and you add your charge so yep if you have any other uh, tips or ideas pertaining to this type of setup just uh, leave it in the comments below otherwise thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one